All right, man, look, so I got my guy JB here with me, here to break down this topic in the NFL. Um, so he's joined me here on the call. Jerry, what's going on with you, man? How you been? Hey, man, all, all is well, man. I, I cannot complain. That's what's up. That's what, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad you're able to come on here and bless the people with your presence. But, you know, we was having this discussion about the multiple reports of NFL owners possibly adding a separate salary cap for NFL quarterbacks just due to the rapid increase in contracts. Now, I'm not really in favor of this. I think it's kind of silly that they're trying to do this. I'm just a firm believer in having a complete team. You need everybody. And it's just a team effort. And putting him on a pedestal of giving him a new salary cap might deflate the team. It might go in another direction. So I just kind of want to hear your initial thoughts on this potential salary cap for quarterbacks instead of the entire team. Yeah, I'm going to have to disagree with you. Like, I'm all for it. Uh, this is a very interesting proposition. Uh, if, I, if I'm the owner of a team in the NFL, uh, I will be in these meetings like lobbying for a, for a, a separate quarterback salary cap because mm -hmm. the quarterback is, is arguably the most important position on the field. If you have if you have a great at that position, your chances of winning increase exponentially. Right. And, and you know, that is valid. I, I noticed that, too. Obviously, that's usually when quarterbacks get paid the most is after they had some sort of success in the playoffs or in the postseason at all. But my issue really just comes from like a, a lot of these quarterbacks that are the highest paid and stuff. They're not Super Bowl winners and they haven't really had much success in the postseason. So that's kind of where it, it irks my soul and it hurts me a little bit because I'm like, if, for example, Trevor Lawrence, we know he just got paid the uh, tie for the highest paid quarterback in the NFL. Like if he hasn't had any success in the postseason, why are they paying him? so much money like that's where it hurts my soul so what's your thoughts on quarterbacks not even having success but still getting paid this most just kind of based on potential well at, at the end of the day we're not behind those doors of that organization so mm. if, if a general manager if an owner if a coach feels very strongly that they need to pay this guy because he has the potential to be a guy that can lead them to a super bowl one day then they mm. can pull the trigger on it. At the end of the day, they're the ones spending the money. They're the one. They're the ones putting putting fans in the seat. And if, if they feel like he's the guy for their franchise, he's the guy for their franchise. I, I can't help but to think of guys like Daniel Jones pay a quarterback with a re with a regular salary cap, like normal. Everything is still how it is now. But you pay a quarterback, give him all this money, and then the production goes down. You don't have enough money to pay all the other skill positions. I like to think this is what the Cowboys is going through. I see it with the New York Giants right now because they paid Daniel Jones all that money just to hand it off to a running back who was dominant. And to me, you could avoid this situation with the quarterback salary cap, maybe depending on how they looped it in. But to me, that's part of the game. Like if you make a bad decision in that front, office by paying somebody who's not really that guy then that's on you so <laughs> that's how I've always looked at it and I'm just you know I wonder if that would change if there's a salary cap for quarterbacks specifically yeah so usually like some of some of these top quarterbacks in the league take up around like 20 to 24 percent of their team salary cap so mm. if it is instituted in a way where that that block of money does not count towards your full team salary cap, whereas that is like your face of the franchise salary cap and you're solely paying him, now you have more access to building team around him to make him a better player in return, making him your investment and, and, and making him or well, helping him get you to the promised land. Looking at the list, I sometimes think quarterback play is just valued almost too much. Obviously, as you mentioned, you know, it can make or break your chances of going to win a Super Bowl. And if you have that quarterback who's, you know, that guy, then he can take you all the way far. But, you know, I also feel like sometimes there's too much emphasis because out of all the quarterbacks in the top 10 highest pay right now, there's only been three that's actually been to the Super Bowl in about the past 10 years. So, and those Jalen Hurts, um, Pat Mahomes, and Jared Goff. And Jared Goff, we know, let's be honest about it, we're, we love what he's doing in Detroit, but he's not really on that caliber of, of creativity and just skill set as a quarterback is the Pat Mahomes and Joe Burrows and, and Lamar Jackson. It's like, let's be real about it. So, to me, I'm like, sometimes too much emphasis can be placed on the quarterback position rather than making a well-balanced team. What's your thoughts on that? Well, ultimately, Jared Goff, watching the Lions this season, he's their guy. 
So he, From what he, he did, he's yeah. kind of entering the, the time of his career. And so the Lions have done a great job at drafting. Cause, cause right, right, right now, the ideal recipe for building your team is, is having a young quarterback on a rookie deal or like drafting skill guys that are, that are, that, that can contribute early on rookie deals so that they're, they're giving you production for a low price until it's time to pay them. So like, in terms of Jared Goff, the Lions have done a great job of surrounding him with players. So I'm, I'm looking at the list of the, of the top 15 highest paid QBs. I noticed that a lot of the older guys, such as the Aaron Rodgers, the Matthew Stafford, uh, the Kirk Cousins, they're, they're, they're not making up nearly as much of a percentage as the guys who are entering their prime or, or in their prime currently. Because mm-hmm. you can never tell how long, how long someone's prime is. Um, now, I, I do want to ask, too, just kind of to steer in the same direction, but slightly off topic. Out of the top 10 pay, highest paid quarterbacks, what quarterback are you taking on that list? Um, honestly, I think Lamar Jackson's my guy. He's, he's an electric mm. athlete, but he's also a great quarterback. He, he runs his offense. And th- th- those guys were just in the AFC Championship game a year ago going up against Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. So like, if, I, if I had to pick anybody to, to stop this Chiefs dynasty, it, w- it would be Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson? Okay, I would go Pat Mahomes for sure. Uh, without a doubt. I mean, to me, man, right now, Pat is is a he's holding it down. He's the goat of this generation. He's that guy to beat, and he's on the team to beat. If you want to win a ring, you got to go through Patrick Mahomes. This is what it's looking like, and I'm hoping he three peats. So I would pick that guy, uh, Pat Mahomes for sure. And then I know I, I know how you feel about Brady a little bit personally. So I gotta ask this question. <laughs> I, I gotta ask this question just a little bit between. Pat Mahomes, uh, Tom Brady, and Aaron Rodgers start, bench, and cut one of those guys. Okay, uh, I will. I'll start Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes mm. is the most physically talented of the three, mm. um, and yet he, and yet he he's, he's also very versed in, 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 in prepping for the game, be able to to make to make changes and adjust on the fly from year to year, with different personnel, all that stuff. So again, I'm starting Patrick Mahomes. Uh, on the bench, I'm taking I'm taking the goat Tom Brady uh, as much as it pains me to say that, but he is also a Michigan man. But Tom mm. Tom Brady had it had it all on top. Uh, he he was able to, to run his offense to perfection, run Bill Belichick's offense to perfection. He was able to win so many seven Super Bowls and then also do it with the Buccaneers. So get so I'll give it to him there, and then I'll have to cut Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is supremely talented, but he's he's just not he's not the winner. Those guys are. Ah, oh, that's where we going with it. He's not the winner. He's not <laughs> oh, the winner, though. He's not are. the winner. Okay, okay. I can give you that. Obviously, because the other guys have more rings and stuff. But man, I, I don't know. That's who that's tough. That's a tough one. I think if I had to do it, I would start Brady. Uh, I'm cap. I'm cap. <laughs> I ain't even gonna <laughs> I ain't even gonna do that. I would start Pat Mahomes. It would be the same thing. Start Pat Mahomes. Uh, Brady coming off the bench as the backup, and then Aaron Rodgers would be the guy who unfortunately has to get cut. But that's not a that's no disrespect to Aaron Rodgers because we obviously know what he is. So anyway, look, man, I, I, I'm gonna go with the last question here and just leave you off with something fun, bro. You think Pat Mahomes is about to three peat with the Chiefs right now? Man, I've, I've seen him do it in different ways. I've seen him, I've seen him air the ball out around the yard. I've seen, I've seen him run the ball, play defense. At the end of the day, he'll come out with a W. So. I would love to see the Chief Dynasty turn into a Chief. I want to see it happen too, bro. I would love for it to happen. And last thing, bro, anything you want to add? I know I said that last time, but anything you want to just go ahead and add? Because I'm hoping the Chiefs win. But just regarding the salary cap and, and all of that stuff, um, any last comments just to, to air out uh, while I have you here? Uh, Justin Herbert of the Chargers is now paired up with Jim Harbaugh, but he's also making $52 million a year. So I'm hoping he, he, he lives up to that bill this season. Mm. You know, I, I don't know how I feel about that. I seen they in a draft they kind of chose to go inside out uh, with drafting alignment. So I, I don't know how I feel about the Chargers right now. To me, they they lost all the skill guys pretty much. Justin Herbert, that fifty two mil, he gonna have to show us he can throw and catch by himself. So his his margin for error is, um, I want to say small, but also too you you can't really say that because he doesn't have many weapons. You know. Yeah, but I feel like he 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 has cemented himself as a franchise quarterback. Even like taking taking lackluster teams to the playoffs, or, or taking teams to the playoffs with not the greatest coaching in the world. But I, I, I think it's time for him to take that next step and become and become the guy everybody expects him to be, and that they paid him to be. And Jim Harbaugh is gonna get him there. 
Jim Harbaugh's gonna get him there. All right, all right. Well, hey, I'm gonna hold you to it. I'm gonna hold you to it this season. So, so when the Chargers don't make the playoffs again, just know you're gonna have some questions to answer. I want you to know right now, and, and I'm not expecting them to make the playoffs, obviously, and all of that. But just know, I'm gonna hold you to it. I'm gonna hold you to any, it. Any any given Sunday, any 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 given Sunday, Mr. Wilson. Okay, bet. Well, we gonna see. We gonna see.